Whoopi Goldberg sharing her views on black Republicans. Wow. I don't watch The View. I think it's just because of the time. I think it comes on like an early mornings or something, right? So anytime in, I don't give a damn the Super Bowl come on early morning. I'm like, ah, I'm from L.A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? L.A., uh, Super Bowl, what time? Oh, 10 o'clock? All right. I don't even be watching them 10 o'clock games at the time. And that's why they be putting the bad games up early most of the time. They put the bad games early. Um, but in all seriousness, this is sad. <laughs> this is sad. When I saw this, I was like, what? Oh, man, just listen to Whoopi Goldberg. And what she's trying to say is uh, she's teeing up her guests to talk about the state of black Republicans and black America and how the black Republicans, not putting words in their mouth, seem like the problem. The grifters, as she would say. Listen to Whoopi talk about it. You describe the current era of black Repub <laughs> Republicans as grifters, and I, I say that's the right word for yeah. that. What, but you need to explain to people what you mean when you say it, and what made you decide to write this book? Well, first and foremost, I wrote this book because I care about this country, mm -hmm. and I've been so saddened at the direction that it's going in mm -hmm. under the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. It's really broke my heart. And when you think about the original black Republicans, they were the first progressives. Mm -hmm. They were the ones that pushed Abraham Lincoln into emancipation. Yeah. They were the ones that forced him into glory. After the Civil War, they are forming communities that will help black folks and poor white folks. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to examine how did black Republicans go from Frederick Douglass to Clarence Thomas? Yeah. How did we get here? How did we get here? And so what I realized is now the current version they are grifters, and what I mean by that is somebody who is hustling and scheming that will say anything and do anything to get access to power, even if it means demeaning your own community. And in many ways, they provide racial cover for the issues in the Republican <coughs> Party. So this book is also about the downward spiral of racial politics in the GOP. Okay, y'all caught that? Okay. I'm always amazed. Now, I'm not going to get into my politics because my politics is all over the place. Now, we can have that conversation when we have our dat therapy sessions, and we're going to have some dat therapy sessions. Um, but my politics is all over the place. Why? Because the people are all over the place. My politics chase the people. I, take, I chase the policy, and I chase the person's heart that I can read from what I can perceive, right? That's it. Like, I'm like, what you, what you talking about? All right, and then that. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, this whole division, this whole Democrat, Republican, and y'all banging like y'all crippling in blood, and it's silly to me. You can vote how you want to vote. Nobody cares. But why you got to then bang on the other one is the craziest part about it. Okay. Now you're saying because those policies will hurt me. So that's why I'm trying to strike first. That's why I'm coming with the hate because I don't like your policies, which will affect me. I guess that's your justification. But I'm always amazed when it comes to this discussion, when it's Democrat and Republican. We know the stereotypes. We know how they, they get down. But most liberals, Democrats, I'm amazed how they preach equality for all, right? They always say that, right? I've been there. You know, honk, honk. Equality for all, right? <laughs> Empathy. And every voice needs to be heard. And then they always the same ones that spit that venom. As soon as somebody disagrees with them. <laughs> so, well, been, and you know how many times, I, it's like when you go to church. It's the same thing at church. Everybody's sister, sister over there, sister soldier, she's so sweet. Uh-huh, ain't a honey in the front row. She's so nice, big hat. Uh-huh. Soon they leave church. Somebody cut them off or somebody bump them or somebody step on them. What? They, you, you, see the, you see the devil come out of them like that. It's just crazy to me how people flip like that. And so I'm tripping off of, you mad and banging on somebody who just supports a different version of this perceived reality, right? Or they want to go up the mountain a different way than you, but I see you at the top. Because human beings are uniquely the same. We all want the same stuff. We just go about it differently. But why are you mad? Like, if I, if I went hiking and you said, hey, big dog, I'm going to go that way, but I see you at the top. You know what I'm going to say? Okay, I see you at the top. Put my AirPods in and get it. I'm not going to be like, hey, what? We're supposed to do this together. We don't do this together. It's not going to happen. Yes, it is. It's going to happen. <laughs> you ain't running for me. You ain't jumping in my body running this hill. So what the fuck? Let them go. 
It's crazy how we bang on each other in this country. Now, what's crazier than this is it's Black History Month, right? The celebration, the shortest month for the black people who come up short, right? That's what they try to say. Uh, I love when I hear those jokes. But in all seriousness, Black History Month, Whoopi Goldberg literally says to respect black culture, America. This is a a month-long holiday. Respect black history. But then she won't respect other black Americans because they're Republicans. (laughs) What? Call them grifters. And then bait little dudes to go out there and say, yeah, I care so much. And the progressive black uh, Americans back in the days were Republicans. You can call that progressive or you just try to say, no, we just want some equality. Like, (laughs) stop labeling everything. Since you want equality, you're progressive. Oh, man, these people crack me up. So I sum all this up to say this. Whoopi really came off and sounded like how I hear my kids every day sound. Every single spat sounds like how Whoopi sounded right there. And that's not good. That's childlike. Because every time... Something goes wrong. They want to say it's somebody else's fault, right? I hear it on the daily for my kids. Every time something I can hear, bah, 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 bah. Ah, daddy, daddy, guess what? Araya did daddy, Olivia. Never daddy. Guess what? I daddy, you know what I just did? And then none of that. We live in this place together, y'all. I mean, you think you're going to win trying to talk about them going up the different side of the mountain as you or vice versa. That ain't how we win because when we ain't going to get to the top one and two, even if we did, who up there with you and how's it going up there? Ah, Black History Month? This how you come at black people? (laughs) Oh man, ain't nothing worse than somebody walking around talking about I love everybody but I hate them. So silly. Oh, like I said, this ain't about politics. Y'all can vote for whoever y'all want to vote for. Give me the two candidates. Looks like it's going to be Trump and Biden. Okay. I would love to see that debate this year. (laughs) I just got to see it. I don't know if Biden got that fourth quarter in him. That's all I got to say. And I don't know if Trump going to get too many unnecessary roughness penalties. You know how the game go. So let's see it. But that's when I make my decision. If those are the two candidates. Uh, we'll see. Looks like it's going to be. So y'all tell me what y'all think of Whoopi Goldberger and her, her comments. Like, is a black Democrat better than a black Republican? What? <laughs> like, first of all, y'all ain't even knowing half the time who really voting for who. Because y'all water coolers be having it skewed. Your water, co- your water cooler make you think everybody on this side. Nah, it's a lot of people just don't want to deal with your BS. <laughs> they ain't going to say nothing. And that's the way it should be. You got your own opportunity to vote in your own privacy in that voting booth. So what do y'all think of black Republicans, black Democrats, and what do you think of Whoopi Goldberg? And what's the biggest misconception about black Republicans and black Democrats? I'm trying to unify on this show. I understand. I know a lot of other ways I could do this show and make it go get a little Kwame Brown up in here, but I ain't built for that, and that ain't what I'm trying to leave my family and my kids. So we're going to talk about it in these ways. Even though Whoopi Sounded a little off today. Whoopi was tripping. We still gonna show respect for her, but we also gonna show and highlight the disrespect she's not showing. The disrespect she actually showing for everybody else. So beat it up in the comments. Let's talk through that.